Hello everyone, this is Dr. Hindu. Today I am going to talk about a very loss, less often discussed topic that is reactive hypoglycemia. It is actually very common in clinical practice and it is um, important to identify this pro problem and treat it. What is reactive hypoglycemia? In patients who have pre-diabetes and also diabetes, after eating a large meal, sometimes they experience symptoms of hypoglycemia or low sugar after a couple of hours or three hours after the meal. And if they do have a glucometer at home, sometimes when they chuck, it goes as low as 50 or 60. They become extremely restless, agitated. They have palpitations, some have sweating, some have blurring of vision. And they are confused why this is happening to them. Because when they do the HbA1c, that is the three months average, it is always around 6.5 to 7%. But why the low sugar? There is a scientific explanation for this. In overweight people and patients who have increased insulin resistance, pre-diabetic patients and diabetic patients, when they eat a large meal, that too, too fast, their insulin response from the pancreas is abundant. A lot of insulin is uh, secreted from the pancreas, which actually causes the dip in the sugar level after two or three hours. So, once you identify the problem, what is the treatment? The treatment is counseling. We counsel the patients to chew their food slowly and eat their food. We tell them to take very small meals at regular intervals and we also tell them to cut down their carbohydrate content of the meal. These things really help. Of course, for very symptomatic patients, we do give medications like acarbos or sometimes metformin is also prescribed. But the mainstay of treatment for reactive hypoglycemia is lifestyle modification. Chewing the food well, eating slowly and mindfully, eating small meals at regular intervals and reducing the carbohydrate content of the meal is the key to manage reactive hypoglycemia. Thank you.